What's up everybody? Today we are finally going to check out the drift cart. It is near completion. Um, I believe Tom is working on getting the engine in right now. Last night Carr brought over a new engine harness because the one that we had for the cart was shot. So we're going to go deliver that to Tom today. But first I have to unhook the trailer because we're taking the van and I'm not toting this thing around for no reason. Robbed it. So before we hit the road, uh, I'm gonna stop at Lowe's, grab another power inverter, because with no trailer attached, there's no generator. No generator equals no music, so I'm gonna get a power inverter that just plugs into here. I think it's like 750 watts for the basic one at Lowe's, and then we'll be able to plug the boombox in and have music without a generator running. Oh, there she is right there. This is the exact one I had. Play my truck. Oh, all right. Turn this on. Thank you. Just got into Melbourne, super hungry. Gonna grab a quick bite to eat before we uh, hit Tom's. and check out the death car. Perfection. It's like a radiator blew up on yeah. the Yeah, good old Florida. Florida coolant. Yeah, rust water. What is your car? It's a lightsaber. Look at that, right there. Look at that. Look at this fanciness up here. So I, uh, we only were able to find one of the bushings from the motor mount, so I just made solid steel ones for him. Nice. So no, no play in that. Is this good to like torque on it? Yeah, I didn't tighten the bolts, but they're fine. You can like turn on it and stuff like that. Nope. So. Okay, let me see this. I'm gonna kind of like oh, walk around and show it a little bit here. And obviously I'll clean up the, the roll cage tubing so it's not all rusty. Nice. What's up with the uh, fuel cell situation over here? Well, uh, your fuel pump will be here tomorrow. So we're just gonna do an inline Barbro and just like mount it either down here or anything so it'll go in there. And I just got you, you know, an inline fuel filter. Oh, dude, the door bars look crazy. Those are sick. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get like a side view. Hold on, come here. I was so distracted with the cart that we completely missed this Mustang over here. Come here and look at this. What is this, dude? That's Dennis's car. This is Dennis's car? Yeah, we're about to redo. <laughs> I think this is probably the biggest turbo I've ever seen in my life. Damn, this is just, that is gigantic. Damn, look at that. Look at the heads on that. Damn, this is a crazy ass car. So, here's the cart in all of its glory. I don't know. Some drag racing voodoo. That is extra. That's true. Like Parachute. All right. So, back back to the cart. So, um, you guys were all wondering like what was good with um, you know, the the edges and stuff. So Tom's basic idea was he was trying to create the shape of the cart with the cage and has done a very good job at it. So um, I think there's a few more bars that have to come up front, like one from here to there or however he wanted to do it. But 
He's got that KA in there, radiator. Um, he did those solid mounts like he said. And um, the support for the steering wheel or steering column, I should say, was like here originally. And that got cut when we were doing the windshield. So he made another plate system thing here to hold the steering column in place. But the cage is done and it looks amazing. So the last thing we got to do here is um, he had to put the harness on because the old harness was shot and that extra harness was for an s14 i believe it just wasn't the right one so we got that harness from car he hooked this up so um hopefully this will be done by the black friday event so chow can rip on it this, this will be chow's drift missile for uh for the black friday event if it's done but if not it'll just you know come out even better with with time so this thing is coming out sick it is almost done as you can see right here so there's your little drift cart update. You turn it out to me. We'll see you. Uh... Second we hit third is fucking V6 screamed right past us. <laughs> Alright guys, so Chow has received some packages in the mail. We already know what they are, but you don't. We're gonna show you right now. So, oh look at that dude. Just like Woo. that. These are some of the last few remaining pieces to the 1J engine build. We needed a head gasket, one of the big things right there. The last thing we're missing is ECU harnesses. And the hardest part is engine mount and trans mount. Yeah. Because no one make those. Custom fab, yo. Custom Tom fab. possibly, question mark. Question mark. Package number two. What is in this magic package? We will see, we will find out. Is it Mishimoto? <laughs> no. Is it a uh, royal purple oil? Who knows? It's Mishimoto oil cooler, by the way, guys. It's just an oil cooler? Yeah. Let's take a look at this fancy oil cooler. Just kidding, it's not an oil cooler. Ooh! Look at these. Look at these. These piece of shit are so expensive. Like, dude, I'm just gonna hug it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the ARP head studs and the Comedic head gasket. Now we can uh, put this 1J together. I think, um, yeah, what he said. All right, so lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and get the wheels back on the Genesis because I have an appointment tomorrow at noon to get this thing aligned. Um, I might have to do a little bit of toe adjustment here right now just so I could get it there without like popping the tires from excessive wear because this one is still towed in a little bit this one over here isn't bad definitely drivable but still towed in um i'm not too worried about it though like i said the alignment shop is going to take care of it they're right down the street i got to drive this thing all of maybe a quarter mile and then uh we'll be all good so i'm going to get this wheel on and i'm going to attempt to straighten the toe out a little bit Good enough. I mean, this is the best that I could get it at the moment. It's terrible, I know that. It's got massive toe in, but um, I called the alignment shop this morning. I already explained everything to them. I'm like, hey, I just installed these arms. Um, the alignment is complete trash. It's all aftermarket stuff on the front and the rear. And they're like, yeah, yeah, like we could take care of it. We've done numerous, um, you know, aftermarket suspension alignments before. So they were all for it. That's why I'm not too worried about it. And uh, the, the most thing that's worrying me is getting this there because this tire is so bad. But um, 
like I said, I'm not personally too worried about the alignment shop hating me for this because I already called. They said it was cool. <laughs> it oh, looks man. so fucking it, funny. It has positive camber and massive toe in. Ew. Ew. They both have toe in. Ew. I might be able to pull it out with a stock uh, lower control arm adjustment. Let's see what it's like on the ground. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be like. It looks so wrong. No, it's it looks broken. But the car is so pretty, but it looks so wrong. Alright, this is it. We're about to see what this looks like. Horrible alignment, buddy. Ready? Ew! <laughs> yeah, we, we should probably put this on the trailer and bring it there. Uh -huh. Look at that. Hold on, let me see what that looks like on video. <laughs> Hold on, let me... Oh my goodness. That just looks wrong in every way. I'll just say drive it. Drive it? Alright, Chow says drive it, I'm gonna try and drive it. It's literally five minutes. It's less than five minutes. Yeah. Alright. The, the, the Alright, so I decided to just throw it in the trailer and, um, and bring it to the alignment shop tomorrow with the trailer. I don't want to risk driving it with that wonky uh, toe setting. So we're just gonna hook the trailer up to the van, probably take a minute maybe, and then stuff the car in there. <laughs> This thing. This thing is crazy. It's clean. Look how long it is when there's nothing in it. Dude, that's not that bad. That's <laughs> crazy. Dude, that's terrible. No, no. no I can't. Oh, both the same. Yeah, dude, at least it's consistent. <laughs> I mean, you can adjust that. Camera gang. <laughs> All right, well, it's in the trailer now. We got our first tracks in there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this hilarious alignment in the rear, but it'll be taken care of tomorrow. I promise it'll be good tomorrow. Just stick around, wait for it, and then, uh, yeah, hope to see some of you guys at Black Friday.